Oh. Alright Jay, I saw your comment, I've got you covered here in two minutes or less, let's go, timer on. So subcutaneous is injecting into your subcutaneous tissue, which is basically made of fat and connective tissue just under your skin. Intramuscular is going deeper into the muscle bellies themselves. What are the differences? Well, sub-Q injections are generally a bit slower in absorption and will have a flatter pharmacokinetic curve. And in fact, testosterone injected subcutaneously has a much flatter and slower release time compared to intramuscular in terms of pharmacokinetics. The reason for this is because muscles have a much greater capillarization, which means more blood flow. In other words, intramuscular injections will release the oily depot that's sitting in your muscle quicker because the blood flow flowing over that oily depot is a lot higher compared to subcutaneous. But one advantage of subcutaneous, even though it's a bit slower, is you don't have to inject yourself with a bigger needle because you only need a very, very small needle just to penetrate the skin, and that's about enough. However, subcutaneous is really only applicable for testosterone replacement therapy doses because it's very slow to inject, pushing through the oil through that connective tissue can be very difficult and having a big oily depot sitting there is like a big lump that you can actually physically feel can you imagine trying to do this with a huge steroid cycle like grams and grams of oil not going to happen so there you go i'm not sure if i've got this under two minutes but sub q is good because it's a slower release time and a bit more stable keep your testosterone levels at a more stable level intramuscular will have a bit of a higher peak and a bit of a higher spike but intramuscular also has a greater blood flow so the amount of turnover that's going on is actually a bit higher. However, intramuscular is really the only option if you're doing anything over TRT doses. And that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate all your support. And Jay, I hope that answered your question.